Welcome to this week's episode of Minecraft Tips, how to build a cave house. For any of my newcomers, this video is going to be my thought process and a time lapse of the home that I created on our community server. If you have any builds you'd like to see a time lapse of with my commentary, please leave a suggestion down below. To start, you're going to need dirt and a door. Only kidding, we're going to go a little bit more in depth. The internet has a plethora of cave houses, hobbit holes, and homes that I took inspiration from when designing this build. My number one tip for a cave home is utility. Each home should serve a purpose, and a house in a cave serves as a first night advantage against monsters. I personally am going to make mine a bit more unique, but the truth is that a basic wall and door combo will work just fine. Once I completed the outside, I got straight to work on the inside of the cave. This section will probably take you the longest time depending on how far you want to go with decorations, sectioning off areas for underground farms, or building a building within the cave. I decided to go with jungle and dark oak since I personally have never really used the two in a combination before, and with choosing to shave the logs on the floor, I think it was a nice added texture and color to complement the walls and the ceiling. I then chose to build an armory slash storage room for one of the side halls. The possibilities are endless when it comes to choosing what you want in your cave home. I built this one with the common player in mind. Yours might be more build oriented, or it just might be a massive hall with a large amount of storage space. That's typically how I like to go. But some things to consider when building out a building like this. Work within the confines of your cave, and really any build that you choose to go into. I've found that although it is a subjective take, that creating something within Minecraft's automatic generation makes a creation feel more natural. There are instances where massive terraforming needs to happen for a build to look great. Thankfully, this was a perfect size for what I had in mind. Kind of a hobbit hole bunker setup in the woods. Make it unique to you. I happen to enjoy Lord of the Rings, so I was inspired by that but you can go with a secret laboratory where you create potions and test redstone. If you aren't entirely sure what direction you want to go, boot up a creative world and test some stuff out. Once I had finished the interior, I went ahead and decided to go out into the exterior and just kind of work on the pathway and spruce it up a little bit with, uh, with grass and some leaves. And I decided to andesite for the path because I felt it matched the wall. I then chose to set up a chimney and just add some more foliage and some flowers here and there. The humble dirt cave still has its benefits. It's easy to build, resource efficient, and does the job you need. But if you are ever wanting to decorate the cave to something that feels more like a home, I'm hopeful that this tip video helps with the brainstorming process of what you're looking for. <laughs> 